It is Vlogmas Day 1. I'll show you guys our Christmas tree. So here's our Christmas tree, guys. I have a little... Uh, it's snowman theme, so little Frosty is playing music for you. Um, and then, of course, I'm just going to show you what the tree looks like. My sister's angel wings, the poncettas that are white that looks like snowflakes, the snowflakes... Everything like that. So this is our Christmas tree, snowman themed, except for the memorial stuff that we have on our tree every year. But I'll let you guys enjoy. manger scene just a small one right there a little snow lady this is something my dad got me when I first delivered Sean uh, for my birthday he got that for me so I put that out every year actually that stays out that's year year round and then there's a snowman just a little top hat and then another little manger scene with an angel and then my little footprints thing that stays out all the time too but this is just my little window in the kitchen. Of course, mine the deep freezer. It's old and disgusting. For the living room and the TV stand, I have another little manger scene and some praying hands and some red birds because red birds, you know, are sentimental. Daddy sends me a red bird all the time. Got bells on my door with a snowflake. Ignore the door, that's from the dog that eventually will be replaced this year. And a Christmas tree outside with a snowflake on top. And we have lights around. Well, hello, Bella. What are you doing? And then I'll show you at night when it looks, what it looks like. It's vlogging this day too. I am gonna read from my Inspire and Praise for vlogging this day too. I've already decorated um, I still have to get you guys a video of the outside when it's dark I keep forgetting to do that so I will get that probably day three so we're gonna go to Luke I just gotta get there going to read the birth of John the Baptist although that is very significant because John the Baptist is the one that flipped in the womb once Mary found out that uh, she was gonna she was pregnant or that, that she was talking about being pregnant with Elizabeth and the baby flipped around and knew that it was the Messiah I know John the Baptist is very significant in the, in the story but uh, I'm not gonna read that right now What I am going to read is In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent an angel, Gabriel, to Nazareth, 
a village in Galilee to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will be conceive and give birth to a son, and you will call him Jesus. He will be very great, and he will call be called the Son of Most High, the Lord God. We'll give him the throne of the to his ancestor David, and will and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. The angel replied, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby to be born with will be holy, and he will be called the Son of God. What's more, you, your relative Elizabeth has become pregnant in her old age. People used to say she was barren, but she has conceived a son and is now in her sixth month. For the word of God will never fail. Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And then the angel left her. I'm going to stop right there. Now, I'll leave you with a thought. And it's the thought that I have thought about for many, 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 many years. Do you think that Mary would have been willing to be the Lord's servant if she knew that he was going to be cru crucified on the cross? years later and of course I know that's that's where Mary did you know come from but it's just a thought do you think that Mary being a human would willingly give up her son for the Lord it's kind of crazy I know me after being a parent for my two teenagers, yes, they get on my nerves. But I don't know that I could sacrifice my kids. It's crazy. She's more a woman than I will ever be. And God chose the correct woman to be the mother of Jesus. Because I don't think any of us could have done it. And willingly sacrificed our kid later but anyway we'll see you on vlogmas day three